Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back. And first of all, I want to say like this video and subscribe channel for support me. Let's go to project and right mouse, import, files. Select these all image files. I will share these image files in the description below. Select all these image layers and click import. Select this city. Let's move the inside this icon for create new composition. And right mouse, composition settings, change composition, full HD sizes. And let's change name main. Click OK. And select this city, let's right mouse and pre compass, change name city, and click this, click OK. So open composition, and select this city, press S, change scale like this. OK, change quality full, and this is alpha channel. OK, so let's close composition, and select the city, let's change full, and go to sky. Let's select the sky, move the behind city composition. Let's press S, change scale for easy animation and move to right. So let's create a new null object for fake camera movements. Right mouse, new and null object. And for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pen behind icon. Select null, change name camera. And select is sky and city link to camera null object and select is camera let's press s and change scale like this okay make new scale Q frame and go to one second change 100 percent select the scale Q frames make easy or click f9 and go to graph editor Select this last Q frame, move to left like this. Okay, back to Q frame, select last Q frame, move to right for more slow animation. Okay, that's good. So, in this time, select this character 1 and character 2. Let's move to inside composition. And select this character 1. Let's move to left here. Press S and change scale. Let's put here. And character 2, let's put here, press S, change scale. Okay, and select these two characters, let's press P. And make new passing keyframes. Let's go to first second. And let's move to left, like this. And character 2, move to right. Also select these two characters, link to camera layer. Let's see. Okay, and select these characters, press S, let's change scale more. Okay, and this scale more. And press P, select these two position two frames and put here. And select this character one, press P, select position two frames, go to last position and move to left. Okay, so select two frames, make easy, click or F9. Go to graph editor, select these graphs, move to left. Okay, very nice, back to two frames. And let's go to effects presets, search effect Gaussian blur. Select this Gaussian blur, let's use for city compensation. And right now, go to first second. And let's create new blurness two frame. Go to last seconds. And change blur like this. Select this Gaussian Blur, let's use for character 2. Okay, and right now let's create new Blur as keyframe. Go to here and change Blur like this. And select these characters. Let's press U, select this Blur as keyframe, move to left. Let's see. Okay, so select this character and go to Gaussian Blur. Let's copy with Ctrl C, select character 1 and Ctrl V for pass and press U for CQ frames. Okay, here is the Gaussian blur, let's see. Nice. So in this time, let's go to some Q frames and select this camera, let's 
hold shift press p and make new parts in keyframe go to here and move the left like this okay so select keyframes make easy go to graph editor select this graph let's make smooth graph animation and select work area select last keyframe move right for more slow animation let's see okay that's good so select this first passing keyframe move to left for more dynamic animation let's move to left more nice very good and in this time select this character 1 and character 2 let's press p and go to here let's move to left like this for fake parallax animation select last few frames move to right go to graph editor select these graphs move to right let's see nice back to two frames and let's select these last few frames move to right okay that's good and for endless background first select the sky and go to first second select work area okay let's see timing okay right now select the sky and press s change scale and move to left like this press p make new person q frame go to first second and move to right select q frames make easy let's animation okay very good let's go to fs presses search effect reptile and select the cc reptile if i use for this conversation as you can see here we have empty area like this okay so let me show a solution delete this reptile effect let's open conversation select the cc reptile let's use for city image layer let's change this 1500 and back to main okay and select the city conversation let's click this icon for see this part okay and back to city let's go to tiling change this flip h let's back to main okay very nice it works and let's select the cc reptile effect use for sky and change expand right okay and change here flip h nice so right now we have endless background so close this keyframe settings and back to project select this character 3 let's move to inside conversation and link to our camera okay and press s chain scale move to down like this and character 4 move to inside again So, in this time, select these characters and right mouse, go to pre compass, add name, characters, background, click OK. And select these characters, let's Ctrl D, press S, change scale, and move to behind first character conversation and move to down like this. And select this character background, let's right mouse, go to here and select flip horizontal. Again, let's control D for duplicate, select backgrounds, chain scale, and let's put here. Okay, and control D again, move right for more characters. And select these backgrounds. Let's link to background conversation and change name characters main. And select these characters main. In this time, press P. For make fake parallax, make new person keyframe and go to here and move to left like this. And select these keyframes, make easy. Let's see. So in this time, go to project and select this main character, move to inside our conversation and press S, change scale. And move it down like this okay and let's link to camera layer 
Let's see. Let's select this character one, go to FX control, select this Gaussian blur. Let's copy and let's create new adjustment layer, change name, scene blur. And let's control V, press U and let's delete these few frames and change blurness like this and move to behind character man. Okay, and let's see timing. Press T, change opacity 0. And right now, make new opacity keyframes and go to here, change opacity 100%. Okay, that's good. And select this main character. Let's go to puppet pin. Go to solo. Let's add one puppet here and one here and here. And let's one here. Let's see. Okay. And press U. Select these all puppet pin Q frames. Let's move to left. And, and right now let's go to here. Select this puppet. Let's change like this. And move to left. Go to here. Again move to down. And go to here again, move to up and again, move to down. Let's animation. Okay, that's good. And also let's change this puppet pin and go to here. Move to left and go to here. Move to right and here. Move to left. Okay, that's good. Let's unsolo, Classification tool, and let's see timing. Nice. And right now, select this camera. Let's in this time press S, make scale Q frame, and go to nine seconds. Press N, and change scale like this. Okay, and go to here. Hold Shift, press P. Select this position keyframe, move to left and go to last scale keyframe and move to like this. Okay, that's good. And select this main character. Let's press P, make new position keyframe and go to here and move to down. Okay, and select this character mains, press P, and let's move to left keyframe, and go to last second, move to down, for fake parallax. So finally, let's go to FX preset and let's search black and white effect. Select this black and white, let's use for main character and use for character main okay very nice and select this dust mp4 footage layer move to inside composition and let's right mouse go to here and fit to comp let's turn off audio and click toggle switch modes Go to normal, select here, add. Let's see. Also select the screen, move to inside conversation, turn off audio and right mouse, go to fit to comp and go to normal, select add. So guys, so guys, finally select this character one and let's go to solo, let's timing. Okay, right now let's go to Puppet Pin Tool. I have add one puppet here, one here. Okay, so let's see timing. Select this character one, press U. We have Puppet Pin keyframes here. And go to next keyframe. And select 
puppet let's change puppets like this and hit change like this and body and this parts okay and go to back change hand like this okay and go to next keyframe change hand again to left and this moved up okay and here change head and next few frame change hand like this okay let's see nice let's unsolo okay very good so let's close puppet pin select this character 2 and go to solo and right now let's add one puppet here one here and one here for body and here here and for head and select this character let's go to back and select puppet change head like this and body okay and and go to here let's change a little bit and here change to left okay let's unsolo nice so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck